What's up, what's up? Welcome to the crib. Guys, this has been long awaited. Super happy to show you guys the whole place. It's definitely quite crazy. And before we even get into the video, and like before I even show you guys anything, I just want to say, because a ton of comments are going to be asking, I do not own this place. It's a $4 million penthouse. And the reason I don't own it is quite simple. I do not believe in real estate as an asset class. There's a lot of benefits to renting. I pay around $20,000 a month. But with that being said, and that out of the way, let's dive into the crib and show you guys my humble abode. Dead broke, spending pennies with my members. This is my office. I have my charging station here. I'll normally drop off my phone when I'm like in work mode. All so kinds. why do you have four or five phones? Long story short, they all serve like their own purpose. It started with this one. This is my phone I had when I was young. This is like probably when I was like 14. And it's just like, dude, they offer you like no money. It also takes so long to trade them in and like all that bullshit. I just say, fuck them, like, let me buy it and run. I hate T-Mobile, there's a video on my channel about that. Then, my sanctuary, this is my fucking, this is my fighter jet. There's people who are in the army, they're in the Air Force, they like walk up their steps, go into their fighter jet, this is my fighter jet. My beautiful Air One chair. I won't go too heavy in the office. We just got this thing. Shout out you guys, 100K subs. I already gave away that Rolex, but. I got my uh, I got my gift. That's my achievement. And yeah, pretty simple. Got the strap here. If you're thinking of robbing me, not a good idea. You guys are gonna see a common occurrence in my apartment. I keep things simple. Uh, I don't understand why people love overcomplicating their life. I've been in this game now for a half a decade. The number one thing that's helped me stay clear is keep your life basic. Keep it simple. Obviously, cover my recovery room and shits over there. Um. And yeah, pretty much basic. You guys might be wondering what the fuck this is. This is an air conditioning unit. And before you think, wow, Jacob, you're poor. You don't have air conditioning. There's two ACs in the apartment, but I like really don't like it getting warm. So even like a one or two degree difference, it really messes with me. It makes it hard for me to work. I don't know about you guys, if you're ever cold or hot, it's probably gonna mess with you. So I have this to keep the apartment and specifically this office at a steady temperature. So that variable is out. I have Polaroids. I love these. I keep track of my life. This is like my first crib of my mom's, my bed, moving out. Some cool stuff. Uh, me and my dad, Patek box. This is a $4,000 watch box. How fucked up is that? This my dad actually got me when I was 16. When I kind of was leaving school and he said to me, life is war, Jacob. And he got me this, which I really love. Shout out my dad. I brought it to every crib and I'll have it till I die. Probably give it to my son. Definitely not too expensive, but one of those gifts that like hit the heart. And moving on, this is like my recovery room. I'm debating on getting a sauna here. I just gotta clear with my management in the building, but I wanna get like a two person sauna here for a few thousand bucks. I have my red light. This is like a no brainer and it feels really good. I do it pretty much every night before bed. And the best way I can explain it is it's like a sauna without sweating. This was a full, honestly, I didn't even really want this. My assistant kind of wanted this, some fucking like steamer. Don't really use it. I stretch out here most mornings and sometimes lay on a yoga mat. And then this is a spiny elongator. A little bit of weird shit, but pretty cool. When I moved in here, I didn't really need all the space. I really didn't. And you'll see in my bedroom specifically, but there's some luxuries in life, which I think I just deserve now that I'm doing so well. And this is one of them. Having a room dedicated to recovery. This I try to do once a day. Super like almost nerdy, but spiny elongator. It reduces some tension in between your, uh, your uh, what are they called, spinal discs and it kind of just makes your spine age less fast. This is like a water cooler. You can get these online and this keeps the water pretty chilly. It's 49 degrees currently. And I go in here pretty much every morning. It's a really good way to start my morning. I won't cap, I don't dunk my head every morning because that shit is like painful. I'll only do that if I'm really feeling like fucking, I'm ready to carry the logs. But most days I'm not in that vibe. Um, but yeah, cold pond's really cool, sick view too. View of like Miami, downtown, and everyone working at the office building is probably tripping out. Who's this tank top fucking warrior jumping in that water every day? <laughs> the living room, you guys can imagine, this is like kind of what sold me on the apartment. Yeah, yeah, you came back and you fell. This is also why it's worth so much because it's it's literally two apartments. Like you can look up, there's fully a second floor. We have this, this is like a podcast setup. We'll chill here sometimes. Me and Kier will film or we'll do a YouTube video. We got a wine cellar here. Got some cool wines. Camus, beautiful bottle. Um, and yeah, nothing crazy. I Maybe live. I, have a cook or no? I like cooking. If I'm with a girl, like I'll bake some brownies. I have a chef now. Thankfully, it's one of those things when you start making money, you make investments back into yourself. A chef is a great one. Oh, I'll sometimes eat here. I used to work and eat together. And then I realized that it's sometimes it's kind of like, I wouldn't say cumbersome, but it's it's kind of like not ideal. 
to work and eat at the same time as you're almost not focused on eating. This, I actually just got this pretty far. Some like books and shit. Some Rolex boxes. I don't want to show too much of this, but like this is my middle school diploma. <laughs> Everyone always loves that. They're like, you have a diploma? But yeah, plants, big plants guy. I really like plants. I feel like they add a sense of like elegance. Big water guy, this is actually a big thing. A big water guy, ice cold water. I actually have two more of these coming. So I want one in my bedroom and one in my office. Here's the balcony. Nothing crazy out here. I just chill. When I moved here, it really solidified in my mom and dad's brain. Like, holy shit, he's doing some cool things. It's kind of fucked up, but like having money in a bank account's all cool, but people don't really like respect it. I feel like the number one reason why like I, I'm, I want a plane and shit is because I want people to be like, damn, he did it. I love seeing this office building because they all work all day at their like, little desks and shit. And I'm just over here like doing backflips and shit, making like a few million a year. It's pretty funny. Brickle's cool. You know, I almost moved to Dubai. I was so close to moving to Dubai. I actually booked a seven day trip there, which cost me like 15 grand. I was bringing my mom, I was bringing you. And Kiara's behind the camera out of content. And I went and I remember going and thinking all of my Miami life would just be gone. And that just didn't sit well with me. There's a lot of subconscious things that you have in the place you're used to. And I was doing so well, I still am doing well. And I'm like, why am I gonna mess everything up? You know? So I decided to stay here. I remember I had some guys visiting and I told them I was paying 20K a month for this place. And it's $4 million. And they're like, dude, you could probably get this for like 12, 11K a month. And I think they were in Texas. I mean, for me, it might sound fucked, but it's kind of cheap. <laughs> Uh, my whole thing I always tell people is like the expenses of life are way less to be focused on than making more money. It's like way easier to focus on making an extra 20K than it is to dwell on a 20K a month expense. The building, I like this building. I eventually want to buy here. I actually have a second unit downstairs, which Kier is around the camera I'm head of content lives in. I definitely want to buy here, just not yet. Again, I think real estate's really, really oversaturated right now. Every single person in their mother is telling you to invest in real estate. That's like literally what is a bubble 101. Not to mention interest rates are insane right now. I just think there's better capital allocation in Bitcoin and cash. But yeah, that's my shtick. I definitely want to own here eventually. I love the building. I love the energy here. It's a very bougie building. The penthouse guy here has a Chiron and a LaFerrari. So he's like 7 million in cars which definitely opens your brain a bit. I feel like a bitch here with my ears. Are you a, a big drinker or no? I definitely have my moments. I like to drink. I think for me, I'm a big extremist. My friends have told me and I just have kind of grown to be okay with it. I'll like lock myself away for a month straight and literally not see a single person. I won't fucking, I'll, I'll have some days I don't even eat. I literally say like, I don't even want to consume food as I just want my brain to be hyper-focused on work. I will not do anything but work. I'll just sit at my desk for nine hours just chugging coffee. If I'm having fun, I will be housing alcohol. If I'm in the Bahamas, I'm going on a jet. If I'm going to a dinner with like a girl, I'll drink a few drinks. These I have more for show. Rarely if I have a celebration. I just ordered like five Don Peas that are like engraved for different goals in my life as I want to start like celebrating goals more. I love little edges that money can buy. Air is one of them. Like, dude, if you don't have an air purifier in every room, you're just fucking like, it's just retarded in my eyes. It's just nice having clean air. And what's sick about the upstairs is, is it kind of like separates in my brain. Again, you're probably seeing it's empty as fuck and there's a reason for that. I don't want complexity. Like I have enough shit to worry about in my businesses, with my life, with learning. There's a lot going on in this fucking brain. I don't want to add. <laughs> I really don't. Rap boy on a footballer's wage. I'm on the same pay as the players at Dortmund. Another bathroom. I literally do not think this has been used. So every bathroom had these little hand towels. Really cute. Shout out Jolie for getting them. Cause I'm like, fuck it. Like, I like that little bougie shit, like in hotels, you know? So I get the like little maids to do it. Same balcony, like I'm not gonna bore you guys with it. This unit literally was two units and they knocked down the floor to make it one unit. Honestly, like, I don't know. It's, I almost like don't care for the bougie shit that much. I just like that my life, I feel like is very simple here. Bigger space, I feel like has just genuinely made me more calm. This is into my, my this is my, what do they call this? This is my, my dungeon. I'm not gonna go to these though. Oh, these, these are my cause figures. What's funny is I've had these for a while. I had uh, my first one was this, and then I slowly bought more and more. They're kind of overpriced. I don't regret buying it. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but they were like $1,500 each. Dude, I was just like 17, 18 year old with 100K and bought these and I've kept them ever since. They're like art. This is all pretty much my bedroom, which is pretty fucked up. It's actually a little crazy in a good way. And we'll start with my bathroom, which is just like, I look at it still now and I'm like, fuck. Yeah, I got some evil ways. Even through the glasses, you can see the gaze. Again, like simple bathroom to the extent that like, it has everything you need. One really cool thing though is that it's like completely open, which I like. Like some people I feel like would be afraid to like, I don't know, show their cock to their world. I don't really give a fuck. I'll just rip a shower, I don't care. Um, I'm not a big bath guy, but 
cool. The women love this. There's a common effect. I really don't like clutter. I when I moved in here, I probably threw away like I, I threw away too much shit. Like literally so much stuff. You guys would have like been like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> and that's my thing. I, I purge my life a lot. I purge my brain a lot, my computer a lot. I, I like to be calm and clear and collected. It just lets me win. And I don't like overcomplicated shit. This is like a little alarm system. Again, if you're ever thinking of robbing me, you will die. You're about to see, like, you're done. So don't. Love this. This is like not business at all. But I don't know, it's like, a, what would you call it? Like a personal touch? Yeah, just something you like doing, traveling. Right? Yeah, it's one of the only things I feel like that's not business related at all. And whenever I look at this, I just like knowing these are all the places I've traveled. Maldives. What's your favorite place you've traveled to? By far Maldives. That place was so beautiful. Closet, basic, definitely overly sized. I don't need, I'm not a big clothes guy either. I always tell people like, I don't like expensive or a lot of clothes. I have a few like Louis Vuitton things and I have a few like button downs. I'm a big Lululemon guy. I think I have everything from Lululemon you could possibly buy. I'll like routinely every six months, just walk in there and just tell the lady. I'll walk up to her and be like, yo, I'm simple. I'm about to spend a thousand dollars. Just get me all the new like season. I never want to wake up and not have a towel ever. So I tell my house cleaners like minimum, we need 10 towels every single day. That way I just never think about it. It's basic off my mind. I'm outside in an AMG, right outside, TT. I love this place. I, uh, I never thought or envisioned a world where I'd have such a big bedroom. I still don't fully like realize how big this bedroom is, but it's sick. I'm really grateful for it. And there's two things I wanna mention when I moved in here, I made sure happened. Number one, I wanted a big ass fucking TV. That TV right there, that thing's fucking big. How often do you watch TV? I'd say every other night, or like if I'm chilling with someone here. I like movies. I'll watch normally like every other night, especially if I go to sleep early. If I go to sleep early, I'll almost 100% watch something. And then if I don't, I'll probably not because I feel shitty if I watch. But I don't need that big of a TV, but I wanted it. And you know, some things in life I've realized, you gotta get yourself, and it's okay. Is that ideal? No. Bed, super basic. One beautiful part of life right now is I never sleep on the same sheets twice. That was one of those things, I was like, remember, I'm like, I have maids coming every day. Let me just tell them, hey, please wash my sheets every day, got a second pair. Oh, okay, so this is a special bed. That thing right there, that eight, basically that's a, it's a cooler and heater. It's called an eight pod, and it pretty much is a bed that cools and heats itself. Quality of sleep is like this important, Five grand is like very not expensive in comparison to what it brings you. So it was just like a no brainer. Get a really good mattress if you don't have one. Literally, if you have 15K to your name, I think spending 5K on this is worth it. Cause sleep is literally past everything. I mean, water and food consumption, working out, I think nothing is as important as sleep. And it's one of those things that you realize like, it's a no brainer, why don't I just do it? And that's what I did. Bought this, so happy I did. Another cool thing about this place, these speakers, I like these surround sound speakers. So if I'm ever waking up, I wanna feel like a killer, like a gangster, I'll play some uh, key Glock. <laughs> Basic, another air filter, you guys know the vibe of that. Just like little storage. Honestly, I gotta throw away this shit. It's like literally my suitcases and some gun gear. And you guys are probably wondering, what's this thing? You gotta go over there. I can't, I can't see this inside. This is my, it's my vault keep some goodies, but I wanted to specifically show you guys one thing. First off, blue lock, all you motherfuckers. Don't pull up here, you will die. Okay, that's, that's not a joke. See that? For YouTube purposes, it's a fake gun. Um, that's pretty much it for the crib. If I had to start fresh, and if you're watching this, fuck the apartment, back in my mom's crib with like nothing, I think the first thing I'd be focused on is knowledge consumption. I can like proudly say, I think my YouTube channel has some really valuable stuff. Like I don't, I don't have an ego when I say I've been through what most of you guys are trying to do and I've now figured it out. So if I was a beginner, I would say one, binge watch YouTube content from people you know that are successful. Try to read good books that also are recommended by people who are successful and or in the spot you wanna be. I'll even link down below in the top link, a literal like formula I created in order to like start your own online business that you guys can watch, again, completely free. But other than that, just stick at it. it. Took me half a decade to get to a crib like this. In another half a decade, I'm sure I'll be doing some fucking trippy shit. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and comment down below a random video idea. We're always looking for more ideas. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out.